Okay, today we're going to do curve fitting with quadratic models. So given some data, we're going to be able to come up with an equation um, that fits the data and it can be used. Um, curve fitting with quadratic data is actually something that is used in the real world quite often. Um, whenever you're doing experiments and you collect data, you can see what that data can be modeled with. You can come up with an equation and um, you can use that equation to make predictions, to make estimations. So we're going to use quadratic models to analyze and predict. A quadratic model is a quadratic function that represents real data. Models are used to make predictions and estimates. In chapter 2, we used linear regressions in our calculators to find an equation that represented the data. We used these equations to make predictions. Um, so in chapter 2, in chapter 2 it was called a linear regression. Today we are going to do quadratic regressions. Our first example I'll move over. The table shows the cost of circular plastic wading pools based on the pool's diameter. Find a quadratic model for the cost of the pool given its diameter. Use the model to estimate the cost of a pool with a diameter of 8 feet. So this is the data that's given to us. We're going to use that statistical um, function of your calculator, and I've written out all the steps that you need to do. If you can go ahead and get out your calculators and work along, that would be great. So I've said, you know, our first row is going to be L1, our second row is going to be L2. And you're going to do stat, edit, edit, and list 1 and list 2. Enter the data in for list 1 and list 2. Once you're done entering 4, 5, 6, and 7 to list 1, and those four numbers to list 2, we're going to do our quadratic regression. So if you hit stat, calc, and the quadratic regression, and then you have to hit enter twice, it's going to come up with um, some information, your quadratic regression. This it's going to be the window on your calculator. That's exactly what you should see. If you don't have the R squared value on your calculator, um, you have to turn your diagnostic on. And if you don't remember how to do that, we can do it in the morning. Um, but you get your quadratic regression. That's your quadratic function. Then you have A, B, and C, because that's A, B, and C, and your R squared value. If you remember, your R, R squared value is what um, so what's your indication that it's good data? The closer to 1 R squared is, that's the, the better your data is. The better your data fits a quadratic model. If it's not close to 1, it's not good data and you can't trust it. So now you're going to graph this new equation that we just found by plugging in A, B, and C into a standard form. Graph this. Plug it into Y1, into your calculator, and turn on your plot 1 to graph everything. You may have to change your window. Okay, if you can't see anything in your window of your graph, in your calculator, go to your window and make things wider and taller. This is what my graph looked like. Okay, I've got the Y, the quadratic um, function and then my stat plot is on so I see list 1 and list 2 plotted there. Okay, if you remember the question asked for the function, the quadratic function, and it also asked you to make a prediction for a diameter of 8, for a pool with a diameter of 8. If you go to your list or your table um, in your calculator, you look where x equals 8, y1 is 49.5. 538. So for a diameter of 8 feet, the estimated cost is $49.54. So everything's right there. It's actually sort of a fun lesson because we get to use real data and come up with real answers. Let's try one more. For this example, the table that's behind me shows approximate run times for 16 millimeter films. 
That was before films went digital. Given the diameter of the film reel, oh, the table shows approximated run times for 16 millimeter films given the diameter of the film reel. Um, find a quadratic model for the reel length given the diameter of the film. Use the model to estimate the real length for an 8 inch diameter film. So we have film that gives it's a diameter um, and if we, the real length, if we pulled everything out, um, how long it would be. So here is our data. I have the diameter of the real and the real length. Diameter is in inches, the real length is in feet. All of those values and all of these values. The first column goes in L1, the second column goes in L2. At this point you're going to put stat, edit, edit, and fill in your list 1 and list 2. When you're done with that, you're going to do the quadratic regression. Again, stat, go over to calc, quadratic regression, and I believe you have to hit enter twice. Once you're done with that, your window of your calculator will look like this. right there. So you have quadratic regression, standard form, A, B, C, and your R squared value. This is close to 1, so we're good. Take this information, plug it in, and we have our quadratic equation. Go ahead and plug that into Y1 and graph it. That is what my graph looked like because I had the stat plot turned on, so those points fill in. And I want to look in the table where x equals 8, because that was the second part of the question, predict or estimate what the real length is going to be when the diameter is 8 inches. So right here we have where x equals 8, y1 is 446.4. So our model, what they're looking for, the function, and then we use that and estimate for an 8 inch diameter real film, and we get the length of our real. That's all we have for today. Thanks.